Hello, hello, this is Ben coming to you from New York City with a uh, haul video. Um, it's actually a few different hauls together. I made a few small purchases, so um, I thought I would just kind of throw them all together. Um, I'll go first with this haul from AC Moore. Um, I was on a business trip a few weeks ago to southern New Jersey, um, if you're familiar, it's the Mount Laurel area. And um, since we're pretty limited here in Manhattan with craft store options, we really just only have Michaels, that's it. Um, our thought, and, and the hotel I was staying at, there was an AC Moore right next to it, so I was like, okay, I'll just go check out what they have. I didn't need anything specific, so I only got a few things. Um, the first was just this black coordinations cardstock 50 pack, it was $2. Um, I kind of wish that I needed more, <laughs> but I only really needed black. So I got this, you know what? I'm a little disappointed. It is not as, um, thick as the Michaels. So, um, it's a little thinner, so I'm not sure if I'm really going to use it. Um, so that's fine though. It, it's just plain black cardstock. I'll find a way to use it, but... Um, in kind of constructing mini album pages, I'm not sure it's really thick enough, so that's a little disappointing. Then all of their paper packs, all of their 12 by 12 paper packs were on sale for $5. $5. Now granted, they didn't have like a super fancy um, selection. A lot of it had been picked over, I think probably because of this sale. But I did get two, I think they're both... Teresa Collins. I'm not familiar with her line at all, so these could be really old for all I know, but they were only $5. They each have 48 um, sheets. There's two each of 24 designs. So one thing I do really like about these paper packs is that when you open them, the top, let me see if I can show this, the top flips open. So, you know, it flips out this whole thing. The, the top isn't adhered to the top of the paper stack, which is nice. Um, so this one is called Stationary Noted. Um, and it's just got some nice, I mean, these are kind of cute little cut apart journaling tags. They're three by four. Um, let's see, there's kind of this basic herringbone this nice blue damask, some text. Um, this is probably my favorite, is the text with these really big blossoms on it. I love large scale florals. Um, damask, note, note, note paper, you know, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but there, there's some decent ones. Um, I think that's it. What else? Is there anything else that I really like? Um, you know, I like the florals. That's nice. And I also like this one. Um, but, you know, for five bucks, and it just also has a lot of basics, like this kind of like really like gray polka dot, um, this red zigzag, this blue polka dot. So that's, you know, I couldn't go really wrong for $5. The other one I got is called Travel Documented. And again, I'm not going to flip through all of them, but you can see all the different papers here. Again, it's 48 sheets, two each of 24 designs. So it's really nice. And these have, I'm sure you can't see it, but maybe you can with the light. That's kind of that UV coating or that like, um, raised, um, I don't know what you call it, on a lot of these have it, like even this, you can see how the polka dots are shiny, so um, it's really nice, I like it a lot. So that was my AC Moore haul, for all three of these things, $12, so that's, that was pretty nice. Then I had a really small Amazon haul, um, and these are kind of boring things, but basics that we all need. The Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive, it refills three pack. This was $7.82, which is a pretty good price. Then I got a two pack of, two packs of 
ATG refills, so it's four rolls in total. You might wonder, like, why am I getting ATG refills and these glue runners? Well, I like to use these tape runners on small pieces where the ATG would be kind of hard to use. So that's why I need these, and I use the ATG for most everything. So I run through these pretty quickly. Then the last thing I got were magnets. Now, I saw these, and I thought they would be pretty close in size to... Um, the magnets that I currently use, which are these. I also got these on Amazon. Um, they are, I think they're eighth of an inch thick and about, yeah, a quarter of an inch around. And they come on this. And these are like super strong, like so strong that they will rip adhesive off of paper if you, you know, have kind of magnet on magnet direct contact with no paper in between. So I've been using these, so I th thought I ordered more and I um, ordered, this is a hundred pack. So when I got it, I said, oh man, there's no way there's a hundred in here. So then I opened them up um, and I pull out the little thing and it turns out that there are a hundred in here. They are just super, super tiny. The lighting is really bad. Here we go, you can see. Like really tiny. They're an eighth of an inch around and only one sixteenth of an inch thick. So this, what you see me holding, is a hundred. Actually, it's 98. I already used two to test them. And they're pretty strong. Um, they definitely work on pages. So this is a hundred of these. They are the Neodymium. Um, they're very strong. $4.99. So not bad. And the brand, as you can see here, it's called Bead Nova. So they're for beading. But they work for scrapbooking. So that's nice. That's all I got from Amazon. And then the last thing to show you is um, some stuff I got at Michael's yesterday. Michael's had a 30% off entire regular price purchase coupon, which you could actually use in Manhattan, which is amazing because usually when you see the good coupons on Michael's, they say not applicable at Manhattan stores. Finally, there was a great one that I could use in Manhattan. So I also noticed that the um, paper packs were on sale. So all of these paper packs that had hot buy on them were $5.99. So I only got one of them because a lot of them weren't all that great. But this is, the brand is called Craft Smith. Um, you know, I've never really heard of that brand. I don't know if it's owned by another company or something. But it just says Craftsmith, and so for $5.99 for a 48 pack, and I actually really like these. There's some decent sort of cut aparts here. Um, look at that. That gold foil polka dot. Really nice. And then just a lot of nice sort of florals. I think Tea Party is a really good, um, you know title for this. So I thought that was really pretty. I mean, look at that. So I can make something really springy. Um, I'm thinking for my mom with all the flowers in here and the little teacups. I think she would really like this. Look at those butterflies. So it's really nice. And for $5.99, again, for 48 pages. And these, the papers are pretty thick too. Like they're nice weight. So that's good. And that was $5.99. Then I got a pack of solid cardstock. This is the Moroccan collection. Um, I thought some of these colors would go well with the, um, many of them I'm doing right now with this Graphic 45 artisan style, especially these first three colors, and maybe that yellow. I don't know. Now that I'm really looking at it at home, I'm thinking maybe not, but we'll see. And that was on sale as well for $3.33. I got this ink blending foam by Ranger um, that goes on the little ink blender. Um, these were only $3.49 for 10. More adhesive. 
Tombo, um, sorry, Tombo Aqua. That was $2. And then uh, I got from the dollar bin these two little trims. Um, you know, they were a dollar. So why not, right? Um, and I think some of these are kind of cool looking. Like I can always use this burlap stuff. And the brown and the green, I think. Yeah, so those are all my hauls. Um, I'm in the middle of my um, artisan style mini from Graphic 45, and it's like turning out great. Um, the papers are so pretty. And um, let me see if I can show you just a couple of the pages without going into too much detail. Um, I think they're looking really cool. So um, these papers are just really nice. So um, uh, hopefully I'll be done with that by the end of next week. Although I am a tax accountant. I manage the tax department of an accounting firm here in New York. And, you know, it's, I'm telling you this on April the 5th. So the next 10 days are going to be a little crazy. But um, I find that when it's really crazy, that's when I need to craft the most because it just kind of takes me out of that craziness, you know? It just makes me sane so um hopefully i'll be done next weekend with that graphic 45 mini i'll be able to show it to you because it's just it's, the papers are so beautiful that it's so easy um but uh hopefully i'll see you soon and happy crafting